A remark has been made regarding Bitcoin by the director of Global Macro at Fidelity Investments. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, are expanding their Metaverse app. And Canadian citizens can only buy a net maximum of $30,000 worth of crypto per 12 months. All of this and more in today's news. If Bitcoin is a legitimate store of value, is scarcer than gold and comes complete with a potentially exponential demand dynamic, then is it now worth considering for inclusion in a portfolio? Director of Global Macro at Fidelity Investments made this statement on the 17th of August explaining why he feels Bitcoin is cheap at these levels. Meta, previously known as Facebook, have expanded support of its flagship Metaverse app, Horizon Worlds, to users in Spain and France. This would allow people over 18 who own VR headsets sold by the company to roam around and experience digital worlds created by other users and companies. Canadian crypto exchanges Bitbuy and Newton have limited yearly altcoin purchases on their platforms to $30,000. The limit applies to all crypto except Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Newton, in a blog post, elaborated on how the limit works, saying that if users buy $20,000 of, for example, Sol, they can only purchase $10,000 of another altcoin unless they sell the Sol and bring their yearly limit back to $30,000. After Huobi Exchange's stablecoin HUSD depegged yesterday to $0.83, cents, the stablecoin has repegged. The US Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation have been accused of discouraging bank relations with crypto companies. Senator Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania has come forward to question them, claiming he has information from whistleblowers that without a legal basis, they are discouraging banks from dealing with companies that have crypto links. The South African Reserve Bank has said that avoiding risk by avoiding crypto-related clients may create a threat to financial integrity in the long run.